Today, Blue and I are taking a walk on the McClendon Nature Trail in Kalamazoo. So tag along with us. We're gonna see this place because we've never been here before. Should be fun. Well, the main walkway has a, some packed snow and ice, but there is a nice clear area right on the edge, so this is a pretty nice place to walk. There's a little traffic noise right at the beginning, but I think from what I read online, it goes back farther into the preserve area, so hopefully we get a little bit more solitude. But there's plenty of cars in the parking lot, so this is a very popular place. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll have a little fun today and see some really cool stuff. So this is a bit of an icy trail at certain points. So, uh, but for the most part, the, it's a pretty easy walking path. And uh, you can see a lot of the trail has melted with the leaves. It's just a few spots that are pretty icy. But uh, it's kind of a nice place, nice and quiet. And I can see why it's popular because it's just a short walk. I, I'll put the, the amount of the size of the trail on here, but it's not a very long trail. and. Uh, Great way to get back into the woods and uh, connect with nature for a little bit. So let's keep going. So this place has some hills, and it's not bad, they're, uh, but when it's icy and snowy, they're a little challenging. Uh, you might ask why I come out here sometimes in the winter and why I hike in the winter. Uh, a lot of these places have a lot of bugs and you get the foliage over the trail and you put your dogs at risk for ticks and things like that. So I usually like to do a lot of hiking in the winter, fall early spring um, and not so much on these small narrow trails in the summertime and uh, that's why this one seemed appealing to me uh, and it's pretty nice I mean as you can see it's pretty beautiful back here This 
quite funny because Blue kind of has the attitude of, why are you slowing down, Dad? You know, he's having no trouble walking on the ice. And I have to watch everywhere I put my feet. He doesn't get that he's, he's only about 50 pounds and he's got four legs. And I'm probably four times his weight or better. And uh, I've got two. I just completed a, a short hike at the uh, Fred McClendon Nature Trail here in Kalamazoo. It's actually Comstock Township. So it's not very far from Augusta or Kalamazoo. Um, nice hiking trails. I mean, there's and there's more going back in there. We took the what we think was the outside loop, which covers some wide trails, and then there's a narrow trail that goes up through the woods uh, a little bit icy at parts a little bit challenging to get over some of the stuff the parts but i can see that this is going to be this would be a great place to come back to in the fall when the leaves are turning or in the early spring when you know some of the flowers might be blooming back there so definitely something to put on your list uh, very easy to get here good to location fair amount of parking a lot of people out here today um although there was a lot of cars in the parking lot. We only ran into a few people on the trail back there. So it's a great place to go ahead and disappear and be with nature for a little while. I, I personally really loved it. There was a, a lot of different uh, sections of the trail that were kind of icy and challenging, the uphill parts. But for the most part, it was pretty walkable today. Um, so if you guys are in the area and you're looking for a, some kind of a different nature trail, this one's not very long. And you can go all the way around within probably 45 minutes or if you want to take longer. So definitely check it out. Put it on your list. If you liked this video today, please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me promote uh, great places around southwest Michigan and get the word out about our great community in this area of the country. So until next time, I'll see you on the trail.